Okay, just unboxing. Uh, uh, Mid-level RC5, Shimano RC5 road shoes. I was particularly looking for an endurance shoe that's not too stiff and not too expensive, but at the same time it's got the boa. So just a bit of a backgrounder. I'm normally on Giro. Narrow feet. Long narrow feet, you know. So but I think I wanted to try Shimano naman. Just to see. Check it out. It's Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I chose this because uh, Shimano has got 1 to 12 stiffness index. And this one, uh, being in the middle, slightly in the middle, has got a stiffness index of 8. So yeah. So, I'm not sure what to expect with this shoe. Um, supposedly it's gonna be a good endurance road shoe so we'll see it's got one boa very easy to, to fit I'm a bit concerned about this tongue I had a road uh, an off-road Shimano that quite didn't quite fit well with the tongue but we'll see early days so again I'll try it out looks like there's a vent here that so so far when I fitted it with socks it seems to be fitting well with my narrow feet so it's a size 46 yeah. which is like an 11 and a half in US sizing for endurance shoes I'd rather have something that's slightly bigger half size bigger because after about 100 150 kilometers my feet swells I'm talking about four to ten hour rides uh, one thing I noticed though unlike my Giro Empire the toe box uh, the, I mean that the heel pads are not replaceable there's no screw so basically pag na naupod yan you're done but then again, it's $180 US Australian dollars in bike bag. It's not that expensive. I mean, if you can use it for a couple of years, maybe three years, okay. So this will be rotating with my 2 Giro and my my Bont. So yeah, you can't have too many shoes. Like okay, eight stiffness index. Uh, what does that mean? So, one being the softest, and twelve or oh, softest or flexiest, and twelve being the most, the stiffest. And I think eight is just perfect for long rides. Now, if you're racing crits, this might be too soft for you. But I don't really buy that. I mean, if you're really uh, eight is stiff enough, but of course you'd wanna get the RC nine. So the RC7 is 10 stiffness index, RC9 is 12 stiffness index, and the RC3 is 5 stiffness index or 6. So really this one being 8 is in the middle of the pack. Uh, slightly, ab slightly above the middle. So yeah, it's good. So we'll see. That's it. I see five. Hopefully it's good. Alright, bye.